I used to know this boy. He was a good lad, but he got bullied at school. Sad. The other kids weren't that much bigger than him. And it wasn't the fact that he was afraid of getting hurt if he did retaliate. It was quite the opposite. He was afraid that he would hurt them. He was afraid that people would see him as a brute. A freak. Before long, that boy became a man. A good man. A pious man. The kind of man that minds his P's and Q's, obeys the rules. He bags himself a wife. They... breed. He makes sacrifices and compromises. He works himself to the bone to put food on the table every day. Who do you think gets the credit? He wakes up one day and he realizes, shit, I've wasted my whole life following the arbitrary rules laid down a millennia ago by a bunch of old men with self-interests and a desire to control the will of others. That's what we're really talking about here. A race of people blindly doing as they're told. It seems to me that all the deadly sins of the world are just natural human impulses. Which makes me question, by rejecting these urges, are you also denying your humanity? Sins. <laughs> Give me a break. Why is it pride, lust, wrath? Why not cowardice, ignorance, shame, or sense of style? Why should man be proud of his individual power? Let me tell you something. Life is hard. If you even for one second have a rare opportunity to forget the pain of your own existence, then you take it. You take it. Because once you embrace that at your core, you are a base, primal, selfish beast. You will be free. Envy, greed, why shouldn't you crave more? Let your envy of others propel you to become better than them. Consume and indulge in every sensation you can, because you can. a new way, the old way. Embrace your power, your true self. Let the sin in or out. Become your own God.